Hello and welcome to the first episode of VRS Studio. In this series, I wish to explore the amazing VR theme with you. Today, we are going to learn how to use the basic hand tracking features provided by the Vive OpenXR plugin and toolkit. Before we start, let me give you a brief explanation on how Vive hand tracking works. In Vive, we provide hand tracking data in the format of joints through an API, as shown on screen right now. The API gives you the data on the 26 joints of each hand, which includes both positional and rotational information. In the following, I'm going to show you how to use the SDK and APIs in Unity. So let's get started. Now, I'm going to assume that you already know how to set up a Unity project which can be built and run on your Focus 3. This leads us to the Package Manager. In the Package Manager, check if your Vive OpenXR package is a version which supports the hand tracking features. I'm using a preview version, but by the time you see this video, there should be a public release version of the package available for you. Just remember to update the package if needed. Next, let's take a look at the project settings. Under project settings, remember to enable the hand tracking feature under OpenXR, so that we can use the hand tracking. That's all the settings we have to change. Heading back to the scene, you can see that we have a light, a scene model, and a basic rig. In the rig, we have a head and two hands under it. For the head, we have a tracked pose driver script attached to it and the main camera as its child object. For the two hands, they are just empty game objects which is where we are going to put our hands on. Next, let's talk about the scripts we are going to use today. First, let's look at the show hand script. The purpose of this script is to tell Unity to spawn the joints for our hands. And as you can see here, we are telling Unity to spawn 26 joints for our left hand and 26 joints for our right hand. Now let's take a closer look at what we are telling Unity to spawn. The joint prefab. The joint prefab is basically a rounded cube with three arrows representing the X, Y, and Z axes attached to it, which is very useful because we are trying to visualize the location and rotation of the joints of our hand. This prefab is also provided in our package, so you can just type VRS and search for it. Now, let's look at the second script, which we will be attaching to the joint prefab in order to make the spawned joint prefabs move when our hands move in the application. First, we have to use these two namespaces in order to use the hand tracking feature. And in this script, we have two variables. The first one is the joint num, which indicates the index of the joint. And the second variable is is left. Is left tells the script whether this joint is on the left hand or right hand. In the update function, what we are doing is to tell Unity to update the location of the joint according to the information returned from the hand tracking dot get hand joint location function. Our hand tracking feature also returns a boolean flag. It's valid. And what this flag does is to let you check whether the hand tracking data is valid or not. For example, if tracking was lost on a hand, its is valid flag will return false. Otherwise, it will return true. Now that we have finished writing our scripts, let's put them in the scene. First, add the show hand script to the rig game object. Second, assign the joint prefab to joint prefab. 
and last but not least, assign the left hand and right hand objects to the script as well. With that, our project is now complete and it is time to build and run this application on our Focus 3. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.